The vapor fire uh, generally likes 20 to 21 inch long chunks of wood. Preferably not split any smaller than that. We do like nice big chunks. They burn longer and nicer. Um, we like chunks that are six to eight inches a, a, across. If you have a round, a six inch round, leave it alone. If you have an eight inch round, give it a single split. The other thing is this wood's been drying for a year. Uh, this happens to be birch. A lot of you have better wood than we have up here, like oak and hickory and maple. Uh, but this is what we got. You burn what you got. It's important not to have your wood too dry. Uh, wood furnaces for the last couple hundred years uh, were known for creosoting up their chimneys. And that was uh, if they had too much moisture in the wood. So they generally wanted the firewood under 10% moisture uh, to prevent creosote. However, with the vapor fire, we'd like to have the wood between 18 and 28 percent. That's where you've got the maximum BTUs in the wood. So in your wood, you've got two kinds of fluids. You've got water and you've got combustible fluids. The water has no combustive energy. Where most of the BTU energy is in the wood is in the actual combustible fluids. So in one year of curing your wood, you actually evaporate the water out of the wood, which has no value, but you haven't evaporated the combustible fluids out of the wood. But if you continue curing your wood for two, three, four, five, six years, you're now drying out all that combustive energy. And two thirds of the BTUs in the wood is in the combustible fluids. Only one third is in the cellulose. So if you dry this for five, six years, you might as well burn toilet paper. You've got no BTUs left in your wood. With every vapor fire, we do provide a moisture tester. Uh, it's packed inside the firebox. Now, when you're going to test your wood, you just obviously turn it on. You, you want to always give your chunk of wood a fresh split. You don't want to test on an old split. You also never test on the ends because they're going to be much drier than your regular wood. So you give it a fresh split and then push those needles down in there and that'll give you a reading of, uh, this one's a little drier, but you get a reading, you wanna be between 18 and 28%. Now, if your wood's drier than that, you can still burn it, but you may have to uh, reduce the setting on your barometric damper a little bit, maybe one number uh, on the barometric damper that's on your stovepipe, because we wanna draw less draft through the firebox and uh, just, slow that down so we're not overheating the furnace.